The Middle East. What comes to mind when you think of the Middle East? Some might think of war. Others might think of the countries such as Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Iraq. Now, do you think of the country of Lebanon? I would like to be sharing with you how the Western media portrays the Middle East, the lifestyle of Lebanon, and the politics involved with Lebanon. Now, how does the Western media portray the Middle East? They portray the Middle East as having more negative aspects than positive aspects, and that is true in some cases. But if you really think about it, depending on what country you put and what topic, we tend to always look towards the negative aspects in it. Now, one negative aspect of the Middle East, specifically in Lebanon, is that people are, are the citizens are struggling financially and in other various types of ways, but yet they still care for each other. When I lived there, if people saw you struggling, they lent a gator hand. They didn't walk right past you since walking right past you was a sign of guiltiness. And that is beautiful to see. It's a weird way to think about it, but it's beautiful to see. And that's something that the media doesn't really show us. Another thing that the media doesn't show us is the beautiful landscapes and structures that Lebanon has to offer. Specifically in the cities of Biblos and Baalbek. Biblos and Bahia actually contain the Roman structures that were built during the time of the Roman Empire. And that's beautiful to see, and the media also doesn't cover this. This is what embraced the culture and the lifestyle of what makes Lebanon what it is today. Which brings me to my next topic, the lifestyle of Lebanon. Now, now I grew up there when I was one years old to five years old, and I came in 2006. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking I was too young to understand the cultures and values at the time. But I travel, currently, I travel back and forth a year or so, and I do have some family out there, so I like to say I, I embrace a little bit of the culture and values. But what's very interesting to see is that in Biblos, they have something called an old souk, which is basically a swap meet, where anything you would like and you desire, they have it there. Another thing where the two old pigeon rocks, they call them, which are two island rocks situated at the coast of Beirut. A very two, they're very nice to see, very natural structure, very cool to see. Another thing is the Phoenician Wall. Uh, it was located, it was built during the time of the Ottoman Empire. That was a real interesting piece to see. And what interests me, and it might interest a couple of you guys, is that all these three rocks actually were built to increase po uh, positivity. And that is what really embraces the culture of Lebanon. Now, the culture has stayed with me my whole life, and it was to embrace the positivity, and that's what I want to do. And what's interesting to me is that even though the people are struggling, they still care for each other. And that's a positivity that's something that you don't see too often. If anything, it actually made the care for it since people were struggling, it made the care for each other even stronger because the Lebanese have the mentality of, hey, the same amount of arms, same body, we live on the same earth, why not help each other to the best that we can? Which brings me to my next topic. Why are people struggling in Lebanon? And this involves the politics of Lebanon. Now, essentially what's happening is that the government is taking money from the citizens and moving it away from the country. Therefore, the GDP per individual is very low. To give a sense of perspective, a few years back, 1500 lira, which is the currency they go by, was equal to $1. Now, it's more 10,000 to 20,000 lira is equal to $1. That is a huge inflation price, and if you really think about it, a dollar can get you a lot if you were to travel there. So if you really think about it, but if someone were to really want to go to Lebanon and look at the amazing values and culture and the amazing structures that Lebanon contains, they not only will be educating themselves, but they will also be helping the country and revive it. And that's something I really would encourage. Which leads me to my conclusion. After learning the whole history and what makes Lebanon what it is today, what do you think of the Middle East now? Do you now choose Lebanon as a place to maybe explore? I hope I have opened your eyes to Lebanon. I hope you consider visiting one day and visiting my amazing homeland. Thank you and my Asadan.